a couple of weekends ago, actually maybe more than a couple, we, my family and I, went out on a trip on our boat. We started at the mooring, so the first night we didn't actually go anywhere, but it was still really nice. Cold? It was cold. It was really, really cold. I don't think I would have told Cameron though because I wanted him to jump in, but he kept chickening out. We were here for ages. home to just 33,000 people, all of whom have received both doses of COVID-19 and Move, please. Did this guy do this? Oh, sunset. And I'll say, this is why it's called Sundowners. Booyah, booyah. Then the next morning, we left the mooring and started going to Broaden Island. It takes a few hours to get there, so you'll see quite a lot of footage of us sailing. And we saw heaps of dolphins and whales. I can't, I can't point to the yeah, well, we'll, go on, we'll have to. Oh, we might have to the other side. Oh, there it is again. Oh. And again. It so did. Again! Do you see it, Cameron? It is jumping in the air. Why? No, but this is funny commentary. I think they're gone now. Okay, I'm just vlogging. We're just sailing past Bundelbar Island and we're nice and close so you have a good view for the greenery and the rocks and everything. And over this side, that one is cabbage tree. Oh, there's cabbage tree island. Oh my gosh. Vlog, I hope you can see this. If not, at least you can hear it. Are you above the rails? Yeah. Well, just. Come on. It's going there. We're going south. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh, there's two. two. Do, the wow. Do the tail thing. Do the tail thing. Do the tail thing. Cool. Is Holly looking at him or is she just no, confused? Are you getting this? I hope so. I don't think so. They look. Whoa! Oh, Looks like they're the same okay. size. Here it comes. Uh, yes! That probably means they're going down now. Yeah. No. Maybe they'll do it again to show off. Mm. <laughs> I think wow. Holly saw that time. Maybe. It goes along to the edge there. We just saw a whale, yeah, but to, it might be gone now. This is our third sighting, I think. Oh yeah, it looks pretty big. Oh yeah, it was just moving so slowly. Okay, now it's gone. While we were underway, I made this strap for my hat so that it wouldn't blow off. We're, get, we're getting closer. I don't know if you guys can tell that there's a bit of a swell out here. So the boat is rocking. And Holly threw up earlier. Don't say that. I said that. So now we are 200 meters away from this part of Broaden Island, but it's 35 meters deep. Isn't that crazy? And we're heading in behind this first headland to a really cool spot that you guys will see soon called Esmeralda Bay. Okay. 
Louder. Oh, concentrating. Louder. I'm concentrating on is, steering the boat. Here's Sophia concentrating. Oh, there's Holly, so much people. Not that far. Like, stop here. the other side of the rock we were just looking at which means we are now heading straight into Esmeralda but there's still a bit of a swell so we're gonna see how that goes okay yeah. so we're anchoring here oh chin's a bit closer to those rocks yeah, I don't know it's hard to tell um I will keep filming, hopefully I won't have to help so I can show you guys Look at that! I can show you guys what the anchoring process is like because it's all pretty exciting or at least I think it is um, and we've also seen some sea eagles and lots of seagulls around but now we're choosing where to stay hopefully for the night but things can always change this is dad doing the steering and monitoring the depth and stuff so my mum's up the front because she'll actually press the button that makes the anchor go down this isn't as exciting as i remember we spent a lot of time not doing anything just then so i decided not to film that for you guys um now it might be go time we're on and it's 12 meters deep I don't know if you can hear the anchor going down. So our boat goes to like, we don't want to get any shallower than two meters, I think. So I thought this was quite deep, but apparently it's not. Go straight to 25. We're going straight to 25. And we're still going. So, so we rock a little bit but it's not too bad actually it's really nice here okay, oh. okay we'll just let it stretch out a bit we're letting it stretch out a bit and i'm hoping that soon we can go snorkeling in there or there somewhere i'll show you guys on my gopro ah uh, so the chain okay. has stretched and had a bit of a wobble i think that means we're good righty so we are gonna take the dinghy into there whoop over there go for a walk maybe a big walk I don't know and then have a swim but to go in the dinghy I need to put my phone in the dry bag so I'm switching to GoPro cam So the three of us are going to go and have an explore now and Dad and Holly are going back to the boat. That's them all the way out there. Would you like to show your sea glass? Yeah, I found four so quick, it's pretty cool. Cameron found sea glass. Vlog, you just missed it but I saw a lizard. And we've got to stick to the trails because the other area is for birds that are nesting think and lots of wildlife which we will hopefully see oh we have the options to go to Esmeralda Cove Coal Shaft Bay or Providence Beach and we've chosen Providence Beach which is on the other side of the island only 400 meters away there was some really cool birds up here but we scared them off before we could look at them properly there's some more birds Oh, there's a bigger bird, but they're just a bit ahead of us. Oh, 
like I'm going into a spooky tunnel. Don't worry guys, it's gonna be okay. More birds. Let's see if we've scared them. Oh, a butterfly. Take a look at this view. Whoa, I nearly fell over. Now we're on Providence Beach and we've got an even better view and I'm gonna try to get closer without scaring them. There's all these black birds with red bills. I have no idea what kind of bird they are, but that's pretty cool. Oh, you can really hear them too. And there's just so many. Okay, I think that was close enough. I hope you guys can see. And oh, over there, here and over there, there's a bit of a wave. Not that we're gonna go surfing and there's rocks everywhere. But I feel like if you were keen surfing or boogie boarding, you probably could. Yeah. I don't know why he's doing this. Try and create something like a, a crop circle. Alien. Yeah. Alien okay. I think that's a sea eagle or a hawk, that bird up there. And this, that mast is our boat, Yacht Sirius. Now it's not that far to the beach because we just walked it, but it does look like a long way. Oh my gosh, they went without me. <laughs> Cameron is going off into the wilderness alone. It's not a very Cameron thing to do. And he said, wait there. So I think we should wait just out of sight over here. He's not gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. He's been gone for a long time now. But he will be back by right now. Who knows what happened? Hi guys, I'm on this trail and no one else is here because they sent me back to lock and it's going quite a long way. Okay, we got him. seaweed and this I thought it was plastic but I actually think it's a blue bag that my mum was trying to grab and she couldn't get hold of it hit it, hit it. Oh, hit Finally, Mum pulled it free and we got to have a good look at it. It's like a snorkeling bag or something. We use it as a snorkeling bag now. Looking at it now, this look, it kind of looks like a breadboard, but I think it's probably a part of someone's boat. I know it was really wedged in there. You can't tell, but I was trying pretty hard to get it out, and I just couldn't <laughs> get it. If you look at the 
is the green stuff there? It looks like a mattress or something. I don't know. No. Just in front of those rocks, there's lots of tiny fish. I came a bit close to this rock here. Yeah, that one. I thought I would stay further away, but I didn't. Oopsies. What is this? What do you guys think that is? Because I have no idea. It's hard to tell, especially on film, but that squiggly thing near the top of the screen is a moray eel. And that was it for the snorkel. There's more fish that we saw, not that many more. I was just too slow to get them on the film because they kept swimming away. And when we were getting out, I decided I would try and swim for as long as I can and see how shallow I can get. And I was getting really shallow, then I hit the bottom. <laughs> Go. Clean, clean, bubbles, going for another walk, this time with dad. Okay, so we just had a walk back down to the beach I showed you guys earlier, and now we've got a little while until the sun sets, and about 20 minutes to um, get ready, head back to shore, but we're heading down this path which is supposed to be 20 meters shorter than the last one to go to Coal Shaft Beach so hopefully we make it back in time and don't get caught out after the sun sets okay we're close now I think you guys will see the view soon it's just here we go just over there oh yeah there's lots of what we think is prickly pears on this side not so many back where we were before right there Ooh. and this is it and then you have to go all the way around there oh yeah we won't keep going but we could go around there and oh my gosh <laughs> so there's the only one boat here going on in this area there's all these dead trees oh. <laughs> some more on this side paper bark trees and mud which is weird because we saw no mud earlier I don't know oh, more dead trees I'm gonna have a turn in the hammock and because the boat's rocking it'll rock for me and we'll be all good so long as Cameron and oh just Cameron actually so long as he tied it up well well enough this I don't even have to move a muscle and I'm gently rocking around as the boat does oh that was a big one but um, when I first hopped in the knot slipped a bit which was very scary so I redid it and I'm still a little scared but I think it's safe enough. Look at this. Whoa, big one. Oh my gosh. There's a guy left. Oh, Cameron B. Well, at least if it's sunk. I'm vlogging. I vlogged you. Lovely. It is. More than one. Yeah, well, that was. That one up the gym. We're seeing dolphins. <laughs> Hopefully you guys get to see them too. I hope they're not gone. I saw it just really quickly. There, there it oh, is. Oh, it's because oh, we're outside. So I did wake up at six o'clock. I'm really tired. The birds are so loud. But hopefully it's gonna be a good one. So I think the sun is rising just behind these rocks so we can't quite see it all but the sky started to turn pink and it's very cloudy sunrise update it's even nicer now Woohoo! oh and uh it got worse so that might be as good as it gets but we'll give it a few more minutes it's funny but 
I'm heading us, I'm steering towards the rocks because we have to go into the wind to get the sails up. But it means we get to see this part of rock we didn't see earlier. And there's some really good caves over there. And on this side too, I think. Oh, Holly needs a pan, hang on. windy we still have the sails up but we're only using the motor and it's getting a bit choppy with the waves as well made it home safely and that was it thanks for watching everyone bye